Hello, welcome to the Soil Inventory. My name is Grace Roiro, your farmer. Uh, so today I had a long day. It's around uh, five-ish right now. So that's why I look all this exhausted. Uh, today I went to fetch for my seed. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have some potato bags. So these are my potato seeds that I had gone to acquire. The last time that I had a video on the seeds that I'll do on potatoes, I had settled for the variety, but I hadn't settled for the company that I would uh, go for. So today uh, I had an assignment. I had settled um, on this company like a week ago. And so today I traveled all the way and see what they do, uh, are they certified, uh, what varieties they have, where they're located, and also purchase my seed. So one of the things I did, I visited um, the government. Uh, I recommend it's okay to go and seek advice there at the government institutions and get certain kind of services or what you would want. They always... Um, recommend because every every institution has its mandate yeah so when i visited one that was near me they referred me to various um uh places that i would get help but also i decided also to go to the internet and check something about national potato council and also the recommended seed producers and so that's how i settled for this company called utopian service uh, services kenya yeah it's a limited company so um it's located in yandara county uh, in a place called Ruroni. so i hadn't gone to that place earlier but uh, today was adventurous and i went to that place so uh, they do potato seed production of shangi varieties so uh, i will leave their details um uh, at the description their contacts and maybe if you're around that area you'll uh pay them a visit and maybe if you're doing potatoes for this season you'll uh just um you'll just purchase maybe and also walk the journey with them they also offer agronomic advice and they walk the journey with their farmer so one of the things when we are checking for the potato varieties um for me i settled for shangi you'll settle for any other variety that you would want. We'll have a video on this and have a discussion on the varieties that are available right now, especially the ones that are around me, uh, the various companies that are around me, and we'll see why each variety has its unique feature and that's why it's preferred by different farmers. So, and every other variety has its own market. So we'll have a discussion on that. So today I'm a happy farmer, a happy girl, though tired, but, um, we got to do this so uh so i have acquired my potatoes will not be planting now because we'll be waiting for the the rains but in case you have enough water for irrigation you can go ahead and do your farming but uh for now we'll be waiting maybe for the march we'll be waiting around their march and maybe start uh what we're doing right now is just doing some preparations where we gather our inputs so that and also just stay and stick to our budget so even when you're purchasing the potato um seeds you have to check your budget also um proximity to your farm you can purchase uh potato seeds very far from your farm it will not be cost effective when it comes even to transportation so yeah you have to check your budget so for us we are on a strict budget and that's why we are doing these early preparations and also just uh, taking stock of what we need so on other news remember i hadn't settled on a cabbage variety but today i i got a recommendation from a, an agro a, an agronomist who is also a friend and recommended victoria f1 and now i'll be doing victoria f1 so i have uh, i bought a sachet a small one first where i'll be will i say testing no i'll say i'll be planting because after all i'm here for the market also so you remember there are a few things that we had discussed when you're purchasing your seed when we had our video on seed certified on certified seeds and how you also you verify so mine is a hybrid one of the things so i'll be showing you sh uh, right now the things that you check and how you get information on your sachets and how you verify uh, via kefis or through kefis and uh also you know the company that is supplying your seed and all that so this is how um the sachet or the packaging looks like and how uh you verify your your seed so here is where you scratch uh 
there's a packet uh, so this is the company that maybe um, does the distribution so here is where you scratch uh, we can do that right now and then you send uh, you scratch and text to 1393 as you can see here written it's uh kefis it's the certifying body in our country kenya so we can do this we can scratch after you scratch that's the number that you get after scratching and that's the number you send to that number and they will uh, give you um a feedback on the seed so something else also as you can see there's uh, information that is given here on the seed one i told you it's, i'm doing victoria you can see it's victoria f1 it shows the packet size for me i just did a small packet size that is 25 gram and also it tells you the this just the batch number the lot number um you see here it tells me the germination percentage or the minimum purity is 99.85 percent so i expect it to germinate well and to do well so basically yes this is the cabbage variety that i will be doing so i'm excited we'll have more discussions on these on the potatoes on the cabbage i may try another variety uh yeah soon so what i'll do i'll do i'll start with this i'll put it in the nursery which will be done tomorrow or maybe next week and then um yeah that's an update so far i hope you liking the process so far as we had promised this year we're gonna do it from the seed uh, acquiring the seed to planting land preparation up to the marketing stage so feel free to ask any questions feel free to comment feel free to just engage and also share your experience uh, which uh, I, I believe every other farmer does different th things differently so I'll be glad to also learn from you and to uh, just uh, acquire more knowledge thank you very much uh, till next time stay blessed and productive bye